What's up guys, Ross Cloud from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to add a heat map into your WordPress website for free without coding. How to do this and what is a heat map? Before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content for a friend of yours. You have no idea how much that helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in our choose internet on the site's favor. So let's get this started very first thing to do is understand the reasons okay so a website read map heat map or a heat map is a visual representation of user interaction data where values are desperated by a range of colors from the most popular head and the less popular blue element of web page so imagine this page right here how to know from this page what are the most clicked content imagine that for example a person screwed down and click into this button you'd never know this okay you can add triggers you can add events but it would be easier if you have a heat map so, so you can understand and optimize your ui in order to see and make more conversions for example imagine that your entire website drives user to purchase something to download something to hit into some button this is important and heat maps can help you a lot of net okay so let's learn it first thing navigate your wordpress dashboard review the left sidebar of menus hover mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin luckily for us wordpress have tons of plugins and you have no need to pay for expensive services okay just scroll and hit the left sidebar of the right sidebar the right top section of your screen next to keyword there is a field called search plugins click on it and type aurora heat map okay so aurora heat map this guy right here click on install now click into the activate button this is gonna redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on your site. But review the left sidebar once again and hover a mouse over settings. It used to be the last option from the left sidebar of menus. Now we're gonna be able to see next to privacy a new submenu called Aurora Heat Map. Click on it. And right here you're gonna be able to see all of the events on your site. So for example, let me load the site right here and from this page I'm gonna scroll it and click into the about page now I'm on the about page now from the about page I'm gonna click back to the home page nothing happens because I'm logged in so I must log out so we can hit the section because I'm not the the user of the site I'm the administrator so let's do this now I'm using my site from another browser so it's I'm unlogged so I'm just a visitor of this website and I'm working on it okay I'm just visiting the site doing wherever I imagine that a user will do to serve you as example now I'm gonna click into the about page from the the top bar navigation menu and into this page I'm going to go back for my home page screw it down and hit to the contact us page or maybe to the policy privacy page and here it is now let's review our website And here is we have two events okay we can click on it to see the events for example right here let's click can you see the heat map market the cart page we have lines right here okay and we have one event right here let's try again I hit even on checkout and here is where you're gonna be able to see the results on your site okay we have some clicks right here as well so you can start collecting data and understanding the section of your sites where get more hits and get more clicks okay in order to optimize it 
and to exclude unheated section or unuseful section for your site, okay? As a lot of one says, data is the best way to understand and optimize your site. And this, in this way, you're going to collect data. Let's explore the settings just a little bit, okay? Retention period. This is a premium feature. Accuracy, high accuracy, standard. Non-singular page, report, do not report. Ajax delay time. Number of drawing points. Count bar, show or hide. URL hash, integrated, individual. There is other options if you're a pro user, but by default, the plugin already works great into its free version and can gives you good ideas about sections and pages of your site that get more clicks and get more content from what page, okay? And that is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes or board this plugin to gain widgets, elements, and templates and tools to build up your site using Elementor and Gutenberg, or Enzu WordPress team, the best free WordPress team that can start to customize your site in the way that you want, or Growth.net platform, a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts, or Sites.gallery, that is a CSS gallery where you can promote your site, your app, your game for free, and VisualMoto.com in the case that you want to go premium when doing your site, just go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to your entire templates library with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click in addition for premium blocks, tools, assets, plugins, templates and many many more features to create the site of our dreams. And that is, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!